All right. No sound. Let's play this in full. It's more and more fleshed out. All in betweens and poses, set changes, especially at the end. Ta da! Cool. I think what I'm going to address here are the broader strokes in terms of timing. Because there's some cool stuff through there in terms of the complexity and the turn and all of that. Like, I'm not super worried about yeah, like almost detail work. To me, it's more about timing and pushing poses. So when she comes out, there's something, I never mentioned that before, but it gets a bit busy, that background with her. I wish this could be a clean, so many lines in here that from tangents and busy up the silhouettes. I never ever mentioned that before. If you want to, you know, short, uh, sh uh, short uh, what's it called? Make the set smaller, add something here. So that or whatever you have that keeps her in the clear. But the general thing would be there's something I think it's better for sure. Like everything is better. It just needs like a little fine tuning of this feels like it's like an in-between pose. It could be more dynamic in terms of holding this out in terms of a, a big stretch in the body and the, and the legs almost closer together. She feels a bit halfway through almost holding in that pose. I know she's changing. I can see it. But it seems more like an overall global rotation change where arms and legs are always kind of the same. So I wish like you would do a and then really stretch out pose so that you have... It's almost like a squash, but within a stretch. That sounds super weird, but like that. But, you know, the legs are closer together. Maybe even arms could be closer together. And then... She comes out into that's your in between. You break down between those two poses into another stretch. And I'll probably cheat that leg over to get a bit of a cleaner. That's cool here. A bit of a cleaner uh, leg silhouette. But timing wise, it feels like you want to. It still feels a bit like you're pulling her down. I think that's always been that remnant from the beginning. And I think it's because the timing of that jump through here into that hang time is all fairly soft and suddenly we get that pull down frame and what's happening too is that this gets very small like you have suddenly acceleration in the timing here through the spacing but then suddenly this feels smaller in spacing and then suddenly it accelerates and it's especially through here but then from here to here not really so to me it feels like there's so inconsistencies in the spacing where I would go, take a couple frames out of this. It's a bit, a bit faster. Hang, hang, hang in that pushed pose. Then turn into this. That's a bit more. You can really feel that going down. So it doesn't feel small, small, big, small. And then another big change here. The shape-wise, blonde to gray. That's that section. Then... There's so much energy in that roll going forward and that translate that suddenly, eh, right through there, it suddenly gets slow. You got to take a couple frames out of that. So it goes from this, 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 to this, take this one out, take all of these out to maybe already up here and then getting up. I just feel like a weird pause through there. And then this in return feels a bit slow on the up. She feels like she's going fairly up and then suddenly she's accelerating forward. So the trajectory feels a bit like this versus roll jump. And then timing wise, we're small, 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 suddenly moving forward. So again, I would blend that a bit more. And even this feels less like an impact compression and then up. More like a, oh, I'm tired, and then up. And all feels a bit stiff because this to this there's a little bit of curvature here, but other than that, it feels like this whole thing goes down. It doesn't help that she is never really, you know, if she will go down and keep her head up and then eyes go forward to keep the focus, but she feels, looks so spaced out and feels so stiff through there. Not quite buying that. Same thing here. I think talked about that having a bit of a stronger situation to this. It feels like that much of a jump out a bit broader. And again, through all of this, I'm just sensing a lot of stiffness in the chest and head relationship. 
how there's nothing really going on there in terms of compression and change. Even through here, this happens later on as well. You have a jump and then we're suddenly spacing wise, you know, I know there's a, there's a camera move, so it's hard to fully track. But even within this, you can see that sudden jump through there, but I'm not feeling it A in the pose where she brings that leg up, but then she gets to this, but then we're kind of staying put to me as opposed to she's like that and she will go lower, really bring, bring that down. And then on this, you can stay in that. I would drag that foot a bit, but on then that leg is up, maybe extending this a bit more curling you know bringing that that line of action more like this versus this and then forward and just being able to hold that leg up a bit longer for like if you want to feel that foul extension full extension with a slight swing over the arms as well like this arm goes up but now we have a down up up here and then we're staying in that pose we're not following through with that swing up and also bringing the shoulder up the shoulders feel low here so like a bigger swing, bigger full extension stretch. Then you can get into this. Here it's cool. Getting into this. Great compression there. But then it feels like, oh, we want a full extension. But we're not. We're already bent and we're staying kind of bent. Which again takes the force out versus oh, stretch. Then for this. And the same thing where I would have her... Like she feels like she is about to go this way and then she su she suddenly goes this way and it's already kind of you know bent there like basically what i'm looking for is a full stretch really towards the goal and then towards the end she can bring her body up a bit into that bend for that pose to get ready and i think the legs are okay yeah, I think that feels better. The idea of this force going this way, this going this way, and then boom, this colliding. I think it's okay. It feels a bit stiff just because this feels straight as it goes forward. And then the legs do more. Maybe phew, there's something where I can do where that sudden stop will, will actually bend the knees. Bend the knees. Then the knees catch up. And then it's a bit more like that, right? You got a sudden bend in the legs and then they shoot forward. Feeling of snap. This feels slow too. I would go and then too, too slow. Hold on. If I speed this up here. Even that feels slow. This is 25% faster. Let me just play this at 50% and that feels better. 50% faster. How about, what is this? Twice as fast. How about twice as fast? Mm, a bit fast, maybe 50%, maybe a bit more, 60%. Now we're back at normal speed. Yeah, it feels slow. Even this here feels a bit slow. And then we also get stuck in that pose at the ends. You might look like, well, he's going down there, so she's dragging. But to me, it feels like we're seeing that top, and then we keep seeing that top. And I would just cheat so that you're landing here. That's your length there, right? Hold on, let me delete this and put onion skinning. So that's your length of the body. But then at the end, cheat it that the head is here. So there's the, the cheated impression of the rotation that has her go con, uh, continue to go down into this, you know? That's cool. I don't know if I will compress a bit more maybe here if you can. And the same thing here in terms of the hold. I will go and... It's kind of... Here, a bit deeper. Jump up, down, hold, cha. So it's slow and fast. And right now it feels all a bit even. Yeah, one, two, three. Give this a bit more flourish of hold and then cha. All right. 
hope that helps. I know these are a lot of notes, a lot of hopefully not too destructive in terms of typing notes, but that's what you pay me for. <laughs> I want to be honest. This is kind of, well, you know, it's my subjective view, but I feel like it's all cool. It just needs a little bit of spicing up of the timing to push certain elements so it doesn't feel slow and even. Alrighty, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.